This morning, a Florida paramedic yeah. is under arrest, accused of conspiring to steal coronavirus vaccines. What were you thinking? Did you only have three brain cells? According to authorities, 31-year-old Joshua Cologne, a former paramedic of the year, confessed, telling them he was pressured by the fire captain to help steal three doses of the Moderna vaccine for the captain's mother. Joshua tried to cover for the captain. Joshua set up the circumstance for the vaccines to have been stolen. Had Joshua simply gone to his boss right then, he'd have been the hero. But instead, he started falsifying paperwork. The scheme falling apart when the forged medical forms were reviewed. Now authorities say they are looking to arrest Captain Tony Damiano, who was recently in California with the Federal Emergency COVID Task Force and is currently at large. You can run, but you can't hide. The deal's over. You're going to jail, Captain Damiano, for being a crook for stealing. Cologne's attorney in a statement says the paramedic feared if he didn't follow orders, he would face retribution. Uh, something of this magnitude where inappropriate allocation, falsifying documents, um, getting others involved in it, certainly we're, we're, we're deeply disappointed in that. As anxious Americans scramble to get vaccinated, they may be vulnerable to fraud. In Texas, authorities are now warning people to be on the lookout for criminals using the pandemic to scam them. And in Washington state, that's exactly what happened. A man there under arrest after authorities say he charged desperate residents hundreds of dollars for phony COVID vaccines. Yeah, hard to believe there's so many scammers out there right now. So, Carrie, what should people... Well, this information comes from the FBI that are telling people to beware of scams. First of all, if you see that you have been offered an opportunity to get a vaccine and there is payment back off. There should be no payment. Offers for additional medical procedures to go along with the vaccine, trying to link the two. That, of course, can also be a scam. If you're seeing information on social media or you get a phone call or somebody you don't know is offering you the vaccine, it may very well not be the vaccine at all. The FBI warning people to pay close attention. And finally, messages that are saying the vaccine is required. Make sure you understand all the details so that it's not like you must meet this requirement, we can give it to you right now. Bottom line is because of the scarcity of the vaccine and the anxiety, there are scammers playing on emotions. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.